Patrick Cooper from the Queensland Museum visiting the Monropo Turtle Rookery on the Bundaberg Coast where we collect the turtle eggs for the World Science Festival Brisbane. Monropo is one of Queensland's great conservation success stories. It's a place where researchers have been monitoring nesting turtles for 50 years. In the late 70s there were around 3,500 female loggerheads nesting in southeast Queensland, with 500 to 700 using the Monropo rookery. But by the 1992-93 breeding season, numbers had fallen to around 1,200. Monropo hit its lowest point with 120 nesting loggerheads in the 2001-2002 breeding season. And this decline in numbers was identified as losses that were occurring in the fishing industry with turtles drowning in trawler nets. In 2001, trawling efficiency devices, also known as turtle excluders or TEDs, were introduced to the otter trawls in Eastern Australia and Torres Strait and to the northern prawn fishery. This action greatly reduced turtle deaths in the fishing industry over an area that covered a significant portion of the foraging range for Eastern Australia's loggerhead turtles, and it halted the decline in loggerheads nesting in the southern Great Barrier Reef. Following the introduction of TEDs, nesting numbers increased so that in the 2016-2017 breeding season, the number of loggerheads nesting at Monrepo was back up to around 400. The importance of the research here at Monrepo cannot be overstated. Without this work, the decline would not have been detected, its causes identified and then addressed. And if this were the case, this important turtle rookery would now be approaching extinction. It's through research and conservation that it survives and that it's here for the enjoyment of future generations, allowing our children and our grandchildren the privilege of a very special first-hand connection with nature. It's research that drives well-informed conservation decisions.